breakout. But what I do want you to do is I want you to think about what's next for you. Okay? And you're not going to answer it. You're going to answer it at the end because I've got a few more slides to go through. But um, with the time you spent here, how are you going to make it valuable? I don't want this to just be a good time. Like, what is something you're going to take and apply from today to make your life better? So that this wasn't in vain. So this just wasn't, like, you could have just been watching something called Netflix if you're not going to take anything from this. So what is that thing you're going to do? Make a commitment to yourself. Make a commitment to the better in your life. Make a commitment to your well-being. What is something you're going to take from today? Write it down. And have a sense of urgency in achieving that. Because if you delay and procrastinate, you won't do it. So today, make that choice and that commitment to yourself. To do and to whatever it is that's resonated with you today. Whatever it is that's made you say, do you know what? Enough is enough. I'm going to do. I'm going to stop doing. Whatever it is, write it down and make a commitment to it. And the reason why I say that is because if you don't, then it's just knowledge without action. It's just intellectual data that's gathering dust on the shelf of your mind. And that will be a travesty of justice. You see, the goal is to get your actions equal to your thoughts. Whatever you're thinking about doing right now, make sure your actions are equal to those thoughts it's key it's so important so don't let it just be oh yeah I, I, I might let it be something that you actually follow through and do it's so important it's so important so i want to talk to you briefly about um this model okay and I want you to, 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 to think about this because it's really important. Which one of these personality types are you? Okay. Are you the individual who's direct, results orientated, firm, strong, willed, forceful? So when situations come up, when there's something that needs to be done, with that thing that I've just put the challenge out for, are you the kind of person, like, I'm going to do this, let's get it done automatically, straight. You're willing to put it in, you're willing to give it a, a goal, willing to give it a try. You don't care about what people think, you're in it to win it. You're focused, you're like the eagle, you want to get that prey, you want to get that victory. You want to change and grow and develop. Or are you the kind of person who is outgoing, enthusiastic, optimistic, highly spirited and lively? So you're the kind of person who likes to engage with other people. You like to get involved in things. You like to do things as a community and with other people. You know, you, you enjoy feeding off the energy of other people. Or are you the person who's even-tempered? You know, accommodating, patient, humble, and tactful. So you're very reserved. Don't want to rock the boat. Like consistency and familiarity. Like things to just be, you know, ticking along and it's fine. Don't necessarily want to push the boat. You don't necessarily just, you know, I'm happy. It's good the way it is. Or are you the analytical type? Reserved, precise, private, systematic. Hate getting things wrong. Love paying attention to detail. The small things matter to you. So which one of these are you? Because depending on which characteristic you are, will determine how you interact with others and how you engage with things and how you do things. So these top two are more outgoing. They're more, you know, um, get up and go and get it done. The two on the right are more relationship-based. They like to do things and engage with others and, and very much focused on the relationships. The bottom two are more reserved, more laid back. And then the left side is more task orientated. You know, they like to get things done. They focus on the task. That's what, that's what gets them going. Now, this 
whole model in there. I'm just going over it very briefly, but this is um, what's known as the DISC methodology. So I'm a qualified approved DISC trainer. And this is something that um, I do training in groups or help people individually to do. If this is something that you'll be interested in, I will be um, in the email afterwards, I'll be sending out some information about this. Um, what the DISC model does is it helps you to understand who you are and why you do what you do. And it covers the information in great detail. You get a 20 page report based on who you are, what your style is, and how you can work with different types of people from different and other styles. Very powerful tool. I use it daily in my life and it changed my life since I started doing it. But just to give you an understanding of it, let me show you another way. So imagine you have four keys, okay? One key is for your car, one key is for your house, one key is for your storage, and one key is for your business, right? And each key serves a unique purpose and provides a service that no other um, tool can deliver. You can't use your house key to get into your car and you can't use your business key to get into your house. Well, this is the same way as it is with those four different styles because we're all a combination of all four of those, but we will have one priority. But because we don't understand those other areas, we are trying to get into the car with the house for the keys. We're trying to get into the storage with the house for the keys, with the keys for the house, sorry. And this is why we get into difficulties. This is why relationships get into problems. This is why we find we rub people up the wrong way. And this tool really empowers you to understand and utilize all four of the keys because different situations will require different ways in which we react and respond. And that's what the disc does. It empowers you to be able to use the right keys for the right locations. And so in closing, what I do wanna say is that there is a law, a universal law that we all have to abide by whether we like it or not. And that simple law is this, if you don't sow, you can't reap. And this is why I asked you earlier, which you know, I'm going to give you a chance at the end to talk about. What are you going to take from this? What are you going to solve from this? How are you going to do something different or try something new so that you can reap the rewards? Because you are guaranteed to miss 100% of the shots that you never take. I'll say it again. You are guaranteed to miss 100% of the shots that you never take. And I'm not talking about basketball hoops. I'm talking about the shots of trying something different, trying something new, going for that promotion, trying in that relationship, speaking out, whatever it is, you're guaranteed to lose 100% whenever you don't commit. And so with whatever that goal is that you're going to take away from this webinar, sow, sow, and sow in abundance so that you can reap the harvest. Whatever you, you always get out in life, what you put in. So I encourage you to sow. And remember, in 2021, you have 12 chapters and you have 365 new chances. Make it great. Make it awesome. Make it phenomenal. So at the end of it, you can write your script, you can look at your book and say, what a story. So I want to ask you all as well. So I have one of my goals. I've got many goals for this year, but one of my goals for this year is that I want to get a thousand subscribers to my YouTube channel by the end of the year. So my goal and my, my, my um, ask of you today is if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my um, channel. Not only because I want to get the thousand people, but also because there is tools just like this webinar today that you can look at. I've got about 130 different videos on there talking on all different topics. So it's something that you can utilize and use to help and support yourself and share it with other people that you feel may benefit from it. So that's my goal. Please, if you found this useful, the way you can return it and pay me back is by subscribing to my YouTube channel. And it's called Ezra Voice of Reason. Okay, Ezra, voice of reason.